the Airbus A330-200 freighter. The top 5 reasons why it's in my view a failed freighter. The A330-200F was launched back in 2007, with Airbus's hopes of reviving slowing sales of the smaller A330-200 family with more variants. and building upon Airbus's freighter legacy by offering a replacement for the A300 and A310. 14 years on though, it's been such a success that Airbus announced they're dropping it. Why did it fail? Before we find out, if you're new here, a warm welcome and do subscribe for more great videos on the way. Number 1. A halfway house in performance The positioning of the A330 freighter was slightly odd, as the size and capability was in between the lower end but cheaper 767 and more capable 777 freighter. This proved unpopular with airlines and as operating cost is so close to the more capable 777 freighter, airlines chose instead to carry more payload. The A330-200F carries 70 tons of payload to 4,000 nautical miles, compared to the 767F at 52.7 tons over 3,225 and the 777 freighter at 102 tons at 4,970. Number 2. An expensive freighter With a list price at 241.7 million, airlines would rather choose to convert older 767s. Or if they really need high capacity, they would opt for the more expensive 777 freighter. Number 3. Limited Space The A330-200F has 475 cubic meters of cargo. The smaller 767-300F already has an impressive 438. And should airlines really want space, the 777F offers even more. The 767 somehow only holds one less pallet side-by-side -side at 22 compared to 23 for the A330-200 freighter. Basically, the A330-200 freighter carries not enough extra to justify the extra cost. Number 4. A small market The market for dedicated freighters have shrunk with more previous generation passenger planes reaching half-life while still offering decent enough performances. Freighter airlines would rather convert older planes to freighters as it's significantly cheaper and efficiency matters less to them. Number 5. A lack of freighter family Unlike Boeing which has a wide range of freighter products from the 737BCF, 767 freighter, 777 freighter and till most recently 747-8 freighter, Airbus only has the A321P2F, A330P2F and the A330-200F. Thus, Freighter Airlines would rather opt for the wide range of Boeing offerings than just operating a single Airbus product. All in all, it's clear Airbus isn't prioritizing the freighter market, but projecting a demand of just 800 out of 21,900 aircraft over the next 20 years, Airbus still has plenty of time to think about how best to serve this small market, and in the meantime has a strong portfolio of passenger jets. Thanks for tuning in and till we meet next time, one team, one aviation. One sky hit.